Hello students, so I'm sure all of you are aware about the fake notice that has been circulating on various social media websites and WhatsApp groups regarding the upcoming next that has to be conducted earlier next year or later this year. So this was the notice which was put out and which said that as per the conclusion of the meeting, it has been decided that the commencement of exam will be immediately 30 days after the schedule is published. Now there has been no published schedule as of yet and I don't think that any authority in India would be so naive to start an examination just 30 days after putting the notice about that exam and especially if that exam is happening for the first time. And so in clarification of that, the NMC had to put out a notice that there is a fake notice circulating in the name of NMC and students should not get confused regarding this and all important letters and notifications should be checked on their website. So this turned out to be a fake uh, notice and the question remains what happens to next when will next happen now according to the notice and according to some internal sources as well it is likely to happen it is likely to happen either later this year that is in december 23 but definitely amongst this all fake notices and fake news one thing is clear that next is going to happen and in this journey Alan is there to help you move forward. Now, what you should do, whether INICT November is going to happen or not, whether NEET PG 2024 is going to happen or not. So, regarding INICT, what I definitely believe that it will definitely happen. It will definitely happen. Why am I saying this? Because this INI is for admission to January 2024 courses in Central Institute, whereas the next will be there for admission in July 2024 courses. So definitely Central Institute would want a chunk of JRs to do their work and next November 2000, uh, INI November 2023 will definitely happen. So all your preparation regarding this should continue. Whether you are an intern or a post intern, the strategy remains the same. Try to focus on first and second prof subjects more because the weightage in general in INI is more. And try to cover the previous year topics that have been frequently asked again and again in INI. Now regarding now regarding NEET PG 2024, whether it will happen or not, in my opinion, it might happen and it may happen. Why am I saying this? Because first, the next is happening for the first time and the authorities won't really try to change the old system altogether and introduce a new system without an overlap examination in between. Also, secondly, NEET PG 2024 will happen for interns post intern and next might happen for the current 2019 batch, which is uh, in their final prof right now. So uh, interns and post interns who are going to start their uh, who, who are going to start their residency in July might get selected and counseled through NEET PG 2024 whereas MBBS students who are in their 8th uh, semester and ninth semester currently will get selected and counseled through the next that might happen in, the ne in, uh, in March or uh, February next year. So in my opinion NEET PG 2024 might happen there is a possibility that it will happen. Okay now what is the road forward for interns and post interns? So as I said, keep preparing for November INICT because that is one thing that will happen. Okay, and for that, the timeline remains the same. Today is 7th June. Try to finish the first reading by 30th August. 30th August. And then the first revision by 15th September, 15th October, sorry. 15th October and then the final re final revision that is the second revision before the exam that is to happen in the first week of November. So this is the timeline for interns and post interns. Your strategy doesn't change. Keep November INI as your target and try to finish the syllabus in time. Now what is the road ahead for final pro students and MBBS students? So I'll tell you two things. First, Keep preparing for your final prof subjects. You have just completed your intern, you just completed your clinical postings and you are reading final prof subjects. Try to complete them during this time itself before an official notice from the NMC comes. 
because the weightage of final pro subjects in the main next exam will be more as per the draft which was earlier released so the draft mentioned that medicine surgery of speed and its allied subjects will have a lot a lot of questions from them so try to finish your major uh, major subjects during this year and try to read them from standard textbook as well because if aims is to conduct the next exam which is likely to happen that aims delhi will conduct the next exam the questions will be from standard textbooks okay aims is obsessed with standard textbooks let me tell you and they won't ask things outside standard textbooks so try to finish them during this time second thing i would like to tell you that when to read the basic sciences subjects because if next is going to happen in let's say february next year then around 10% of the questions will be from the basic sciences that is anat physio biochem pharma forensic uh, path etc right so for that i would say if you want to read them focus on the revision videos now because they cover them quickly covering all the important important points and maybe skip the main videos if you haven't read them if you haven't seen them already okay so these are my two tips for the final prof mbbs students and uh, what will the pattern of the questions that will come in the next so as mentioned in the draft and as my personal experience from various faculties of aims delhi it will be a case based clinical scenario kind of thing so case vignettes and clinical case scenarios will be the cornerstone of the upcoming next exam and uh, what i feel that the examination is turning slightly towards the us mle pattern so it is slightly turning towards us mle pattern so there will be clinical vignettes there will be long long questions you will have to read them throughout to uh, to know what the examiner is asking and at the end of that long clinical question the question might just be asking about biochemistry uh, pharma uh, biochemistry cycle or maybe just asking about the pharmacology drug but it will be a clinical based scenario okay so that's how the questions will be clinical vignettes and case scenario but it will still maybe the answer will still come from first and second pro subjects so don't ignore them try to cover them from revision videos as well now the problem solving and analytic uh, analytical skills type will form around 65% of the questions right so try to attend your clinical postings well this time if you are in your final prof a lot of questions that might be asked in the exam might be covered from your daily rounds during the faculty or what procedures you are doing in the casualty so try to be well with your clinics in your final prof right and uh, around 25% will be comprehension type and recall direct questions will be only around 10% so uh, this was the brief capsule and this was the brief opinion uh, of mine regarding the upcoming next and uh, in all this all this fakery news and all this various notices that have come up one thing is clear that next is going to happen and uh, nothing changes especially for interns and post interns do prepare for an upcoming ini ct that is happening in november and in my opinion neat pg will also happen in uh, next year june and february because because they won't totally scrap the old system without testing the new system so that's all from my side thank you